Cyclists from all over the country and international tourists rallied up to attend the fourth edition of the Arabuko Sokoke MTB Challenge that was held this past weekend in Watamu. The 70-kilometer challenge that took place on Sunday 22nd had a good turnout of about 72 cyclists, both male and female, of different ages, with the youngest being 15-year-old boy and the oldest being 68-year-old male. Bobby Joseph, a 22nd old trainee from Limuru, won the challenge. He won the race with 2.52 minutes, while Efantas Gicheru, a veteran from David Kinja's team, Safari Simba, came behind him just two seconds later at 2.52.2, and Patrick Mogu coming at the third place at 2.56. Um, I'm Bobby Joseph come from Nairobi. Um, this is my first time here in Sokoke Forest MTB Challenge. And uh, being my first time here and racing on sands, it was kind of tricky, but um, I managed it. The women also held it down with Alice Mungero at first place and Salome Kanini at second place and Dina Safari at third place. David Kinja, a two-time winner, was also in attendance, but took the sixth place at 3.4 minutes, unfortunately, due to challenges he faced during the race. There is a place where there was too much sand, so I went off into the bush and rode there. Some things cut my tire on the side and I was losing all the air, Kinja said. The event was organized by Arocha, whose aim is to save conservation of Arabuko Sokoke forest, schools and ecosystem, which is the largest remaining dry coastal forest in eastern and southern Africa through their program known as Assets Arabuko Sokoke Scheme. The MTB race is about raising funds to support the Wanainchi so they can get their kids to secondary school and also protect the forest so their parents don't have to cut down trees to sell wood or charcoal, Jackson, the director of Aroja, said. The event, which set off at 7, 7 a.m. in the morning, was supported by Turtle Bay Resort and Ocean Sports Resort. Reporting for Awatamu Online TV, I am Kushola Mani.